Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own digital stickers. This time we're going to go and create plant stickers. So what I would go ahead and write here is just a plant. And then I will just choose an image that I like the most and download that photo. Once you do that, we're going to go to Procreate and just insert the image or insert the photo and that's it uh, we can get started so here's my image over here now i'm gonna add some lines to it and the way i do it is i create a new layer i choose black color and then i go to my brushes and i'm gonna go to inking in this case and i'm gonna choose a technical pen or a studio pen i both i like them both then i will zoom in the image that i have and then just follow the lines of the image. I also can hold it a little bit longer so that it becomes straight or if it's round, I can also do that. Uh, sometimes it's not gonna look good, then you won't be able to do it, but you can always try it out because it is hard to draw straight lines over here. And I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and follow the lines of the pot that we can see. And here I have the pot. I could also, what I could do is I can actually create a circle. So it doesn't have to completely follow the lines, but it's going to make my life easier later. And I'm going to make this so it's a shape that I can then color. Um, so I like to do that. And I'm going to choose a different color for this. So this is just for me. I'm going to change these colors later on or even now, depends on how I'm feeling. Um, and here I have my pot. Now, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, that you choose the colors now, or it doesn't have to be that the colors have to match the image. The whole point of this is that you can make it different and you can make it your own. The only thing I'm gonna say is that it's important that the you either create separate layers for the pot, or you create separate um, colors. Because if you don't, then it's gonna just start using one color for your whole pot and we don't, maybe don't want that, maybe we do, I don't know. Uh, so let me just go back to it and um, make it maybe something light over here. So here I have my pot, maybe some parts won't be colored, don't worry. What we can do is we can select this layer and then I can just color it in with my brush. Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe not. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on what I've colored before. Um, let's deselect this. And let's just fill in the gaps that I don't like. Or the colors uh, kind of were... Okay. Clear. Where the colors didn't match. Or where something went wrong. So I'm just gonna do it by hand now. Fill it in. Here, we have our pot now, and we're gonna choose a darker color to go inside of it. And here, that's all I need. This is my little pot, it's all happy, it's all good. Now what we need is we can title this. So I'm gonna type in pot. Um, my keyboard is not connected, sorry. So I'm just gonna connect my keyboard. Um, and you don't need a keyboard, but I just really prefer it either it's just easier for me. Now, we have our pot. Now we we can do is we can add the lines. This is how it looks like. We add a new layer. We can, you know, turn off the pot for now. Choose a black color and go to our technical pen or whichever pen uh, that you are using. And then we're gonna go ahead and start drawing. So I'm gonna start with the stem. I'm gonna add the little lines. Sometimes it works or it helps if your pen is lighter uh, so you can see it better. It depends on the image. In this image, it's fine if it's like that. And as you can see, I really had a bad line, but because I hold the pen, it makes it straight and saves my life. I'm gonna do the same here. Sometimes the line ends where I don't want it to end, so I just have to keep going. And here we have our first leaf, if you want to see it. 
turn off the image and we have the background and you can see how our leaf looks like and that's when I uh, make small adjustments so I make it look smoother if it doesn't look smooth enough for me or if I don't like it I also delete this maybe with a bigger uh, <laughs> bigger eraser and I just draw a new one see that's it so that's it, we have our leaf, we're happy with it. We go back and we continue this process. I, sometimes it's good to, um, to create new layer for each leaf. Depends on what you're gonna do next. So for example, I will want to create just one layer because if I do that, then I can easily change its color to white, like that. and. If I don't uh, do it like that, uh, if I have all these leaves, then it's uh, just more annoying for me when I want to change the color, but really doesn't matter. Either way works. So let's continue with this. So I'm a risk taker. I'm just going to go ahead and keep drawing on this and uh, just keep going with the lines. These lines don't have to be perfect. It's a drawing. It's not a vector or something like that i'm gonna go ahead create a line here okay was really not feeling this line and i think my ipad felt it some days uh with some lines i'm not as good as i would want to be but i've noticed that the way i sit really influences how my lines are gonna go so if you're like me, change maybe your seating position. Maybe that's going to help. Here we go. And let's do one more. And honestly, this is the whole process. You have to like line it out and add all the lines to where they need to be. And just add little things. Um, so yeah, that's the main process. The second part is when I add thicker line. So I use the same brush, I just created a new layer and I increase the size. And then I decide which side I'm gonna make thicker. So let's say I'm choosing left for some reason. And then I'm just gonna add my lines to the left and make those lines a little thicker. Now I do that because it adds interest. It makes, uh, especially for my crooked lines, I can make them better. So I usually focus on those and just also one thing I've noticed sometimes if you use like small strokes like that, uh, it's easier for you to draw straight lines. So if you're not used to drawing straight lines, this really, 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 really helps. So here it is. Let me turn this off so you can see how it looks like. And here, I usually turn it off also when I'm drawing it because it doesn't matter what the image says. This is on me. This is what I want to do. So if I feel like drawing a line here, I will. And this is how it looks like. And let me just turn this off and show you how it looks like when it's done. So this is without the thicker lines and this is with some thicker or some coloring in um, and that's that. Okay, so now that we have part of our pot over here with some of the lines, we can start coloring. Obviously, you would want to have, you know, more than this uh, for your drawing, but it's fine also. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna choose, uh, I'm gonna color pick. Let's turn this pot for now. I'm gonna color pick and I'm gonna choose, uh, which color do I want? Why are you not color picking? So the color that we want is the base color. So it's the main color without lighting and shadows. So that's the color that we're gonna choose. So I'm gonna choose this one, for example, and then I'm gonna choose a different brush. I'm gonna choose a painting brush and I'm gonna go to spectra this time. And then I choose the opacity and the size. So opacity, I don't want it 100%. I want it to be less than that. Uh, and I'm gonna start coloring it in. Reduce the size of my brush, change the color or color pick it, uh, however you feel like. 
and I want multiple colors here. I don't want it to be the same. So I just color it in. I'm going to turn this off for now so I see it better. And the reason I want different colors, it adds interest. It makes it more fun for me and it looks better. So the more colors we have, the more realistic it looks. So feel free. Uh, you can also move this slider. So add some yellow or some blue to it. Um, depend really depends on what you want. So now that this is done, because this is done for me, I'm gonna delete the edges if I, you know, didn't have a perfect edge. And then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna title this layer and I'm gonna write um, leave one or something like that. So again, if you don't have a keyword, you just do this. I'm gonna type in leave one. And that's it, I'm done. I'm gonna then click on the layer and choose select. So now it's only that layer that's selected. And I'm gonna go back to my uh, pot, uh, turn this off for now, and I'm gonna choose my lightest color. So this is my lightest one. I'm gonna make it a little lighter. I feel like it's not light enough. Um, and then this is where I start painting my lightest color. So as you can see, it has these little uh, nice lines over here. So we're gonna follow them. I'm just gonna add some lines to it, to our little leaf, and some lines over here as well. I don't know if you can see it, I hope you can. But as you can see, I can't draw here. I can only draw on my uh, pre-colored image. And then we're gonna create a new layer, and this is our shadow layer. So again, we're gonna color pick it and we're gonna go try to find the darkest possible color. And because I like to exaggerate, I'm gonna make it a little even darker. And then I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna just draw by the line of the leaf like that. And over here as well. And then I need to turn this off. Um, I need to turn off the image so I see what's going on and this is how our leaf looks like so if I feel like it needs more maybe um, the size is fine but maybe opacity could be higher if I feel like it I can add it up and then I will just add the parts um, in of where I feel like it needs shadow and also using some knowledge of where the light's coming from. So let's say that I feel like today um, that my light, I just uh, deselected it so I could show you, but let's say that my light is coming from here. So these parts are gonna be darker, right? And over here, I'm gonna go to the lighter colors. Um, these are, or maybe even select a new one, these parts are, I'm gonna make them lighter. And that's how it looks like. This is my little leaf over here. Um, and what I can also do is I can reduce the opacity, of course, and always for my shadows so they're not overpowering if I don't want that. If I want, I can make them overpowering. So let's delete this little arrow that I just drew for you. And this is my leaf. Um, once I'm done, the way it should look like is kind of something like this. Let me just turn on the whole thing for you. So this is um, my finished look. Now in this one, I didn't actually add that many different colors as you can see. So I do feel like the leaf I made now looks a lot better. Um, so to compare, let's look at it again. So this is, you know, like this is more flat and this leaf, look at it. It's amazing. Uh, I'm in love with this leaf. And we're going to do the same with the, um, with the, with the, with the, with the pot. So it also needs shadowing. So we're going to create a new layer and then I'm going to color pick, um, the color that I already have and just make it darker and then I'm gonna go to my spectra brush again I'm gonna select the pot 
so it's all selected and then I'm just gonna I'll choose the brush again and then, then I'm just gonna color it in so again uh, with this kind of uh, if you make it transparent it becomes kind of important which direction you go with your uh, little brush but yeah here we go and make it a little even darker and maybe the size smaller and again I'm gonna color it in like that there we go maybe some you know the inside has to be darker as well so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and let's add some light so again color pick the color uh, that's lighter and make it even lighter over here and now let's add some lightness to this maybe even lighter even white there we go and this is my pot so i hope that you enjoyed this video the last thing i need to tell you is that if you are making a sticker you probably want a transparent background so you just turn off the background and that's it you can download the sticker i hope that if you like this video let me know if you would like me to create something else for you and see you in the next one